In this video, we will demonstrate how to use VisSim Embedded to control a Furuta inverted rotary pendulum. The inverted pendulum is a classic unstable problem in dynamics and control theory and widely used as a benchmark for testing control algorithms. In the Furuta pendulum shown below, motor speed is controlled to balance the pendulum vertically upward. Two sensors encoders are used, pendulum angle and motor angle. In this example, we will apply model-based design to develop and prototype a control system that will swing the pendulum from a vertically downward-facing direction to an upright position and maintain it as disturbances are applied. The model-based design activity will consist of four steps. Step 1, converting requirements into a design model and simulating them. Step 2, modeling the open-loop clamp. Step 3, designing the controllers, which will consist of both a swing up and balance controller. And Step 4, deploying the controllers into a hill simulation. The Quantzer Rotary Inverted Pendulum Kit, also known as a Furuta Pendulum, consists of four components. A rotary servo base unit called the Cube Servo. It's got a built-in encoder to sense the rotary angle of the motor. And I'm showing you the motor shaft right here. It's got a connecting rod pendulum assembly with a built-in encoder, and it's this device right here. It attaches to the motor shaft magnetically. I just place it on and plug the encoder value into the port provided. On the back, there is a USB connection that we're using to a computer running VisSim embedded. And there is a power supply connection providing 15 volts DC at 2 amps. Now the travel on the motor is limited to about 270 degrees. You can see I'm hitting the stops here. So we have to be careful when we run this that we don't hit the stops. The pendulum itself is free to rotate completely in either direction. In this example, there are three requirements on alpha, the pendulum angle. First, the upright balance is maintained for impulse angle disturbances up to plus or minus 10 degrees. Second, the pendulum swing up is completed within four seconds. And third, the pendulum swing up requires five cycles or less. These requirements are represented in the following design model. We have used time as a ramp function, less than four seconds, to an if-then-else merge block to define the upper constraint. If we are less than four seconds, 360 comes through as the upper constraint. If we are greater than or equal to four seconds, 10 comes through as the upper constraint. The lower constraint is fixed at minus 10. I've captured these constraints into the design model compound block, and we'll simulate this to see the performance of the design model for 30 seconds. The plant model consists of a motor model and the inverted pendulum model. The plant input is a voltage applied to the motor. The plant outputs are two angles, theta, which is the motor angle, and alpha, the pendulum angle. The equations of motion for the pendulum module are derived using the Euler-Lagrange equation and the generalized coordinate vector theta, alpha. Carl Astrom and Quantzer LLC are notable references for the derivation of these equations. The plant model is simulated for five seconds, with the pendulum beginning at a vertically balanced upright orientation. A small angle perturbation is applied at time zero, causing the pendulum to drop and eventually come to rest in a vertically downward facing direction. The VisSim animation feature is used to visualize the motion of the connecting rod in blue and the pendulum in red. Under System, System Properties, The run in real time has been checked and the real time scale factor is set to 0.25. This causes the 5 second simulation to complete in 20 seconds of real time, which allows ample time to view the animation. To activate the animation, under View, we select Display Mode and execute the simulation. So we can see in the animation the pendulum in red swinging to its at-rest position, facing vertically downward. And in the left, we see the time histories of the alpha, 
pendulum angle and the motor theta angle evolving. And both of these look reasonable for open loop behavior. In this step, the swing up and balance controllers are implemented and simulated with the plant model for a 20 second real time period. The VizSim animation feature is used to visualize the connecting rod and pendulum behavior as the control system swings up and balances the pendulum. The requirements from the design model are plotted along with a pendulum angle in the upper plot, and the motor angle is plotted in the lower plot. The swing up controller calculates a back and forth motor voltage control signal that maximizes the pendulum potential energy. This occurs when the pendulum is in a vertically upright or balanced position. The balance controller applies a proportional derivative control to both the alpha and theta feedback signals to create a motor voltage control signal that maintains the pendulum in a vertically upright position. The transition controller coordinates whether the swing up or balance controller is being used to control the motor. Basically, the transition controller selects the swing up controller if the pendulum angle is greater than 30 degrees from vertical. Otherwise, it selects the balance controller. To assess the ability of the balance controller to reject disturbances, 5 and 10 degree alpha impulse disturbances are applied at 6 and 12 second intervals. The disturbance signal generation is contained in the alpha disturbance block. The simulation is set to run for 20 seconds in real time at a 0.1 millisecond interval. We will set the view option to display mode so we can see the animation and the plot screens and click go to run. Focusing on the upper plot, we see the swing up controller required three cycles to reach the balance point and did so in about two seconds. At six seconds, a five degree alpha disturbance is injected and at 12 seconds, a 10 degree alpha disturbance is injected and we see the balance controller maintaining alpha within the required plus or minus 10 degree range. The VizSim controller model is modified for deployment by removing the plant and motor models, adding a sensor processing block, and adding an actuator processing block. The sensor processing compound block reads the alpha and theta encoder inputs using a VizSim quadrature encoder block located under blocks Quanzer. The block outputs four signals, the alpha and theta angles, and their rates. The actuator processing block sends a voltage command to the servo motor using a VizSim DAC block, also located under blocks Quanzer. Limits are applied to protect from overvoltage. The deployment model is set to run 25 seconds with a time step of 1 millisecond. Alpha disturbances are injected at times 6 and 12 seconds to confirm the controller satisfies the requirements. Following the disturbance injections, the ability of the control system to follow a theta reference trajectory is demonstrated by manually adjusting the theta reference signal with this slider. Please focus your attention on the live video here on the left as I click go to begin the simulation. Both alpha disturbances have been injected and the controller has maintained alpha within requirements. Theta tracking is demonstrated by adjusting the theta reference slider. In summary, the model-based design process has produced a control system that has been hill tested. All requirements have been met with minimal design iterations and using a repeatable process.